system and surroundings system system is that part of the universe in which we focus all our observations for example if we carry out a chemical reaction in a beaker then the beaker with its contents form the system surroundings the rest of the universe is termed as surroundings though for all practical purposes only that part of the universe is considered as surroundings which can interact with the system here the room in which we are carrying out our observations may be called the surroundings boundary the system is separated from the surroundings by some sort of wall which may be imaginary like here at the top of the beaker or it may be tangible as in the case of a reaction which is carried out in a closed vessel this wall is called boundary types of system open system there may be exchange of both energy and matter from the system to surroundings and vice versa for example the reaction in the open beaker closed system there may be exchange of energy only and not matter as for example reaction in a closed thermally conducting vessel isolated system there is no exchange of energy as well as matter for example a reaction carried out in a well insulated sealed container having reflecting surface to ensure proper radiation shield as well extensive and intensive properties if we imagine a system to be divided by an imaginary surface into two parts any property of the system that is sum of the property of the two parts is an extensive property example mass volume amount energy etc the properties which have the same value in each part and also the whole is called an intensive property example pressure temperature some properties like density and concentration are also intensive but if you note carefully then you will see that density is equal to mass divided by volume here mass and volume are both extensive and concentration is equal to amount divided by volume again both amount and volume are extensive from this we conclude that ratio of two extensive properties can become intensive to make things more simple most of the extensive properties are divided by the amount to get the molar quantities or molar properties and they become intensive for example molar volume is equal to volume divided by the number of moles the symbol of extensive quantity is subscripted by small m state function the state of thermodynamic system is characterized by measurable macroscopic properties like pressure volume temperature amount etc these variables are called state variables or simply state functions because they depend on the state of the system and not on how the state is reached therefore in cyclic processes where the starting and ending states are the same the change in state function is always equal to zero internal energy of a system it is the sum of the kinetic and potential energy of the system for ideal gases there is no interaction between molecules and potential energy may be taken as zero according to kinetic theory of gases the kinetic energy is proportional to the temperature thus internal energy is also proportional to the temperature for an ideal gas and for isothermal process the change in internal energy will be zero internal energy is designated by the letter u it is quite impossible to measure the internal energy of a system what we measure is the change in internal energy from one state to another this is a state function and for cyclic process delta u equal to zero internal energy of a system may be changed by number one doing some work on the system which is positive or work is done by the system which is negative number 2 by supplying heat to the system which is positive or by taking out heat from the system which is negative number 3 doing both of the above